All right, well today we want to talk about using external effects with Logic Pro. I'm going to pull up my mixer view, hit X. Uh, let's assign a bus to all these tracks, so select them. Let's say bus number 9. Uh, hold Alt and click on the little send knob. And what that's going to do is send out signal out of all of them. Also make sure to select post pan. Uh, we're using a reverb and I would want a post pan sort of effect to keep that stereo left and right things going on with the reverb that I'm going to have. So all the sound goes out <clears throat> and comes to this channel. Let's name it verb. <clears throat> and uh, what we want to do is in order to send the sound to an external device, you would need to go to Utility, select the I.O. plugin. And this just allows you to route the sound out to a device and then back in. So all you do is make, you would send this out to a different output other than your main output. That's, that's the catch here is that you have to have a separate output. You have to have access to a separate output other than your studio monitors. If your interface doesn't allow for that, then you can't really do this. Uh, so input, after the sound goes out to that Yamaha unit, you want it to be able to come back in. Um, so this is going to hear the sound as it goes out of that analog unit back into my um, interface on channels 7 and 8. Uh, finally, before I leave this plug-in, make sure to hit ping. That's going to make, it's going to insert delays to make sure that as the sound forks off and goes straight through the channel and they all come back together at some point down the line that they all come back time aligned so everything is uh, phase coherent and things like that. Let me show you briefly our external devices. I have an external reverb unit like this. On the back there are stereo, stereo inputs and stereo outputs. So the input receives sound from my digital mixer. I have my uh, interface coming, my computer connects to my interface, my interface connects to a Yamaha mixer, and that mixer is able to send a different sound out to this input. Uh, once the sound goes through this, the output of that, that reverb sound can go out, and that's going to come back in to the back of my Motu unit on channels 7 and 8. Um, so here's here's the Yamaha unit um, that the mixer and this allow, helps allow me to control what sound just is uh, being supplied by by this plugin. Well, I hope that makes sense. Um, just the bottom line is you need a different output other than your main output that would go to your stereo monitors and just set this up accordingly. All right, well, I hope that's helpful, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you.